Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a little bit of a shopping haul video because yesterday I went to Burlington, uh, Dollar Tree, and Goodwill and found a few things, um, some toys, a uh, few things for my dolls, just various stuff I wanted to show you guys. So um, I'll start off with the Burlington buy, which is the blanket that I mentioned in a few videos back that I really wanted to get for my dolls. I just love this baby blanket by Bon Bebe. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not. But it was only $6.99. It's originally $12.99, so definitely a good deal. And I just love the shimmery silver on the blanket, and it is so, so soft. It's so very soft. And then it also, on the back side, has almost kind of like a wool feel to it. But again, it is just so, so very soft. And I thought this would be a cool thing to use to, you know, up, um, take pictures for my babies. It's kind of a cool backdrop and a backdrop to make videos and everything. So I love that. And that was what I actually went out to get. And then after that, I went to Dollar Tree. And I got a few things there. I got a couple of puzzles. And one of them is this Disney princess puzzle, which has one image, but the one image has four different princesses in it. Like, there, it's cut up into fourths. So you have Merida, Belle, Ariel, and Jasmine. Which, Merida, Belle, and Jasmine are probably my favorite princesses, so that's pretty cool. And I just had to get that. It's 48 pieces, so it definitely won't take long to put together. And then I got another puzzle, which is this Despicable Me 3 minion puzzle with the minions in prison. And I just thought that looked really cute. I liked the uh, kind of black and white and yellow of it. I just think it looks cool and I think it'll be fun to put together. So I got that. And then I got a couple other little things. I got one of these Inside Out collectible dog tags which I'm going to go ahead and open now. And I really, really, really hope I got Sadness. Sadness is my favorite character from Inside Out. If I didn't get Sadness, I hope I got Anger. But we'll see who I got. I wish there was some way to tell when you buy them, you know, which ones are which. But there's just no way. Ah, if I can get it open. Let me see if I can get it started. Okay. All right. I think I got it going. Let's see, who did I get? Oh, I got Fear, which it, that's kind of funny because you would think Fear would actually be my favorite because I'm probably the most like scared, ang ang anxious person that you'll ever meet. I have really, really bad anxiety. So I, I probably should like Fear more, but maybe that's partly why I don't like him is because I have too much of an experience with him. But that's cool. I got fear. I wish I would have got sadness, but you know, maybe I'll get sadness later. I may, I may pick up more of those the next time I go to uh, um, Dollar Tree. And then I got this Garbage Pail Kids We Hate the 80s four sticker cards pack. And I was just talking with a friend the other day about Garbage Pail Kids trading cards. So I saw these and I was like, oh, I'll just go ahead and get a pack and uh, add to my collection because I do have a few Garbage Pail Kids trading cards. So let's go ahead and see what the We Hate the 80s are. So let's see, we have Garbage Pail Kids Pick a Winner Neon Art. <laughs> He's picking his nose. So that's kind of cool. And then Garbage Pail Kids Karate Kit. So obviously this stuff is all kind of making fun of uh, stuff of the 80s. So that's making fun of Karate Kid. And then we have the arcade card <laughs> with the guy who got his head eaten off by the bug in the arcade game. So that's cool. I like that. And then, uh, let's see, we have Beaten Burt, which is, I'm not sure what that is making fun of from the 80s. I'm, I'm not sure if anybody knows what that is referring to from the 80s, let me know, because I'm, I'm not sure. But that's cool. I, I like those kind of things. I like weird, funny things. And then uh, lastly, I went to Goodwill. So I'll show you what I got there. 
And I did get a new outfit. Um, this is actually for the new Paradise Galleries doll I just ordered that I haven't gotten yet. And I ordered Sunshine and Happiness, which is 20 inches, so it's bigger than Anya. And I've read everywhere that it wears zero to three month clothing. So these sweatpants are three months. Hopefully they won't be too big. I think they'll probably fit okay. But I got those. But what I mainly wanted those for was just something to complete the outfit for this hoodie that I found. So I thought the gray sweatpants would go good with the hoodie. But this is zero to three months. And it's, as you can see, Monsters University. And I like that it's 01 because that's actually the year I graduated from high school is uh, 2001. So that's kind of cool. And I just thought it was cute. I always loved Monsters, Inc. And Monsters University was cute too. I must say I like Monsters, Inc. better than Monsters University. But I thought this was cute and I had to get it. So I got that and I figured it would make a cute outfit together. You know, just the gray sweatpants with the blue Monsters University hoodie. So I got that, and then just a couple more little things. I found some Hannah Montana pencils, which I love Hannah Montana. I've always loved Hannah Montana ever since it was on. So when I saw these, I was like, I have to grab those up, especially since they were only 69 cents, and I mean, they're brand new. So that was pretty cool find. And then I got a couple little children's... Um, like comic books, which I love comic books, and lately I've kind of been in a comic book mood, and I thought these were kind of cute. They're Twinkle Toes comics, um, and I just thought that they looked kind of cute. I like comics that are, my favorite kind of comics are either those that are geared for girls, or those that are kind of horror, creepy, like almost, I have a really dark side. I even like, like, sadistic kind of horror, like really, really dark stuff. So the, it's kind of funny that I like either the cute, you know, colorful, girly comics, or I like the really, really dark, cruel stuff. But as you can see on one side, it's Twinkle Toes by Skechers, and then there's Bella Ballerina by Skechers on the other side. And it's pretty much just so you know, little comic book, has a few stickers in the middle. Um, a few activities. So I thought that was cool. And then uh, this kind of goes with it. It's another Skechers Entertainment. This is Volume 2. The other one was Volume 1. And again, it has Bella Ballerina, Twinkle Toes, and then introduces Mr. Quigley, the world's fastest dog, which the uh, world's fastest dog one looks more kind of boyish, as you can see. It, it's definitely not as girly as the other ones. So I thought it was kind of interesting that they decided to throw that in when the other two are clearly, as you can see, more geared towards girls. But, you know, whatever. Maybe they're just trying to expand, you know, kids' tastes or, you know, give them a taste of something different. So I got those. Um, which kind of, The only thing that kind of sucks is I imagine these were probably free. Um, when they first came out, I'm guessing they were some kind of promotion that you got, like, either in, well, since they're Skechers, maybe you got them when you bought, like, shoes or whatever, but, so, it sucks to have to pay for something that probably was originally free, but I guess, you know, that's life. So, that's, uh, my haul for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you soon. I do have a big box of Hatchimals stuff that Hatchimals sent me to unbox, so I'll be doing that video soon. So if you're a Hatchimals fan, definitely look out for that, because they sent me a lot of stuff. So I'm excited to go through that, and I'll see y'all later, so bye bye